Y'all, I just got out of church. I went to visit a church um, here in Georgia in Lithonia called Harvest Tabernacle. Um, the pastor's name, I believe, is Travis Jen Jennings or something like that. I'll put, I'll put the name in the description bar. Whew, when I tell you the Holy Spirit moved, everything I spoke about earlier was just like a confirmation, I tell you. The word was so good, so good, so good. Clearly, y'all see me like sweating. Yeah. Tore it up. I had to let loose today. I had to let loose. Yes, just had to come back to tell y'all that I'm gonna put the snippet of the um, the little clipping that I that I recorded. I'm gonna put it in the video somewhere. Whatever it is that I caught, I told you the Holy Spirit was in that place. The Holy Spirit moved. That's all I gotta say. Like, yeah, the Holy Spirit moved. I'm so filled. Like, I'm I'm full. Like, not talking about, like, um, physical, but spiritually, I'm, I'm full. I'm so full. Like, I needed that. I needed that. <laughs> so I wanted to come on and share that with you guys. I, I'm, I don't have nothing to say. Like, after everything that was said today, like, I'm that full. I'm overflowing right now. So I'm going to speak to y'all soon. And thanks again for subscribing to my channel. I hope whatever it is I'm saying or I'm sharing with you guys, it's it's um, blessing you in some kind of way, shape, or form, you know. Like I said, this is all I want to do, and I just want to be a blessing, guys. I'm not no perfect person. I'm just living day by day, trying to walk by faith, and I hope y'all are doing the same, okay? So I will talk to you guys soon. And be blessed and have a great week. Love you guys dearly. Thanks for the support and the love and the likes and the comments. Follow me on Instagram. That's the only social media outlet that I'm active. Well, not even on that, come to think of it. Haven't been on it since like the beginning of January. So, yeah. But still, if you want to, when I decide to, when I'm off my fast and I decide to be active on it again, I am on Instagram and my name is Predestined4. You can hit the follow button. Don't be afraid, you know, and we can get to know each other, all right? Thanks for the support. Have a blessed day. It's the servant. And so what happened is in the church, we have removed the prophets and established pastors. Pastors are not prophetic. Pastors can't see. The only thing that a pastor can do is love. But love without eyes is blind. Look at somebody and say, no longer will you be guided by blinded love. See, pastors are good. They are shepherds, but they can't see. The Bible tells us in Corinthians, read your Bible when you get a chance. The Bible says in Corinthians, the first foundation of the church is apostles. Secondarily, prophets. Thirdly, teachers. So the foundation of the established apostolic house has to be the apostle, the prophet, and the teacher. So, so, so anytime God gives a word in the, in, in the realm of the spirit, he's going to send it and channel it through an apostolic voice. He's going to send it and channel, channel it through a prophetic voice. Because see what the Logos can't do, the Rhema can. Y'all ain't happy yet. See, a Rhema word from God is different than the Logos. See, the Logos is what God said. Y'all ain't happy yet. See, when you read your Bible, Genesis to Revelation, 6 to 6, amen, canon books of scripture, that's what God said. But every now and then, I, 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 I respect what he said, but I'm more in love with what he's saying now. Amen. Y'all ain't happy yet, I'm going over here. Because if you, if, if you let tradition begin to rule your life, you'll be only hooked on what he said. But, but, but sometimes you can go through so many, amen, vicissitudes in life, that not only what he said can bring you out, you need to know what is God saying now. Y'all ain't happy right here. Because some stuff that's going on in 2018 is different than 1919. Stuff, that's, stuff that I'm going through now is different than what my mother went through, what my grandmother went through. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I thank God what he said. But I am more interested. What is God saying now? My back is up against the wall. I 
need God to turn this thing around for me. I need God to bring me out of this situation. I need God to make a way out of no way. I need God to heal my body. The doctors have given me a bad diagnosis. The doctor said there is no hope for me. I've been taking all of the medications and things are getting worse instead of getting better. Crack your neighbor and say, neighbor, I went to Dr. Field. I went to Oprah. I went to Ayala Fix My Life. I need to know what is God saying about me right now. Slap your neighbor and say, neighbor, I ain't praying, I ain't playing no more. I didn't put on the eyes, I didn't put all these clothes on. I didn't wash my face and brush my teeth. I didn't put my lashes on. I didn't contour my eyebrows. I didn't do the eyes. It's not about my physical. But I didn't do all of this to look gorgeous and come up in church to hear a bunch of lullabies and a bunch of stories. I need to know what God is doing for me right now. I ain't like my brother, I ain't like my sister. I don't have everything going on with me. To know where I, I am, I need to know who, where am I. Lord, locate me and then help me locate you. <laughs> Find your neighbor, say, neighbor, sometimes I just, I need God to locate me because I don't even know where I am. It seems like I'm walking, but I'm just only existing. It looks like I'm living, but I'm only just, my heart is beating. I need God to locate me, but matter of fact, Lord, help me locate who you are. Help me locate where you, because when I go far, He's not there. When I go backwards, I can't find him. On the left hand where he does work, I can't perceive him. On the right hand, I don't even know him. But Job jo said it, but he knoweth the way that I'm taking. And when he's tried me, I'm coming forth as pure gold. On your way down, look at somebody and say, don't judge me. I, I'm not as powerful as you. I, I'm not prophetic like you are. There are some seasons I don't even know where I am. Sometimes my emotions are like a candle in the wind. And if a good wind blows, look at somebody and say, take the mascara off. Let's tell the truth. This is a very truthful environment. Sometimes I just need God to locate. And then help me locate. Because sometimes, young, if I can find out where he is. It'll get me back in line. Even when I don't know where I am. When I know where he is, it'll get me back in line on your way down. Tell somebody, I need a prophet. I need a, I need a prophet. I need a prophet. I need a sure word of prophecy. I need someone that's connected to God. I need someone that's in communion with God. I need someone that's in communication with God that can stir me and point me to the right direction. Grab your neighbor and say, neighbor, where are the Elijahs? Well, well, I need somebody. Come, come on, talk. Say, where are the Elijah? Where Elijah? Well, where are the Elijahs? Where are the Elijahs? Wow! Where are the Elijahs? Where are the Elijahs that can call fire down from heaven? I need Elijah. I need some. Not, not, not these little prophets that look at Facebook and Twitter. Y'all ain't happy yet. Not these prophets that, draw, that fly all the way to Africa to sit down with African Buddhist priests. The, those voodoo priests. Amen. These prophets fly all the way to Africa to sit down with priests uh, that practice voodooism and witchcraft to get a word for you. Y'all know that I mean prophets that got their ear to the heart of God. I mean prophets. Amen. That put their face in, at the feet of Jesus. I'm talking about prophets. Amen. They have a sure word of prophecy that when they open up their mouth, all heaven stops and the earth hears. Y'all ain't saying that thing in here. I'm talking about prophets, glory to God, that ain't bought or boss. I'm talking about prophets that will cry loud and spell out. I'm talking about prophets, amen, that will tell you, you in sin, 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 you in sin. Y'all ain't happy yet. Grab your neighbor and say, neighbor, God. God, bring back the prophets. Bring back the prophets that's been hiding in the cave. God, bring back the prophets that Jezebel has scared away. Oh, but I prophesy. I prophesy under a heavy anointing that God's getting ready to put the thus said the Lord back in the prophet's mouth. Come on, find somebody and say, God's about to put the thus said the Lord back in the prophet's mouth. You ain't going to be afraid to prophesy any longer. You're going to go back to your school and prophesy. You're going to go back on your job and prophesy. And you're not going to be afraid about being politically correct. You just want to be God correct. Oh, 
Come on, do me a favor. Somebody sitting, you get ready. Somebody sitting next to you is getting ready to fall. They get ready to backslide. But put your arms, don't, 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 don't be freaky. But put your arms around them and say, God's going to put the thus said the Lord back in the prophet's mouth. He's going to put the burden on the people back on the prophet's heart. No longer we get this old sissy five punk prophet that's scared to prophesy. Oh, but grab your neighbor and say, neighbor, oh, your destiny is in the mouth of the prophet. Your future is in the mouth of the prophet. The prophet carries your destiny and your future. Don't you let these witches and warlocks tell you that you don't need a prophet. The scripture tells us, the Bible says, I wish that all of the Lord's people were prophets. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. It was God's desire for every blood washed, bought believer that walks in the power of the Holy Ghost to be able to prophesy. Grab your neighbor and say, neighbor, I ain't been to no school of prophets. I don't have no certification. I don't have no degree. I don't even know the Bible real good. But I do got the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, son. and sometimes the Holy Ghost would make me pick up on somebody. Y'all ain't saying, see, you prophetic, you prophetic, you pro see, you, you, you've been trying to downplay you. You've been trying to downplay you because you made so many bad mistakes. But I prophesy under a heavy anointing that God's about to put the thus so the Lord, thus said the Lord, back in the prophet's mouth. And when you prophesy, not only do you release wisdom, but you release wonders. Oh, look at somebody say the wonders are coming back. Wonders, 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 wonder, twin, power, activate. Slap your neighbor and say, neighbor, when the prophets come together and touch and agree. Oh, y'all listen and find somebody happy. Say, when the prophets come together and begin to touch and agree and begin to walk in authority. Wonders, wonders, wonders. The mighty acts of God. The mighty acts of God. Praise him for his mighty acts. Grab your neighbor and say, neighbor, lift up your head, O ye gate, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. There was an angel that really didn't know what they was doing. There was a young angel in the back saying, who is the king of glory? And then these old seasoned angels had to school that rascal and said, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, he is the king of glory. Grab your name and say, name. When you open up your mouth this time, something is coming out of your belly that's going to release the mighty acts of God. That's what this generation needs. We don't need another sermon. We need an illustration of the power of God. We don't need another prophetic word. We need signs following the word. I know you can exegete and exegete. I know you know about homiletics and hermeneutics. I know you've been to cemetery and seminary. I don't die, But there was a generation that want to see blinded eyes open up. There was a generation that want to see deaf ears unstopped. Crowd your neighbor and say, neighbor is in the mouth of the prophets. Trying to. Say, God, locate me. Put me on your radar. I've been flying solo by myself. I make three, four, meet three steps forward, but I get knocked down since. And now I'm drinking just to stay alive and smoking. I've allowed the synthetics. I've allowed the devil's influence.
been tempted to take your hands off of the very thing he wanted you to be on. Because you got over, over overwhelmed. The Lord said, I can only bless what your hands produce. Noah was building 120 years with his hands. I prophesy, if you take your hands off of my stuff, and start working your stuff, we all will be blessed. So I prophesy the blessing on your thumb, your pointing finger, your index finger, your married finger, and your baby finger. I release an acceleration in your hand. You're building what would take a year would only take a month. What would take a month would only take a week. What would take a week? It'll be a map. matter of fact. If you dance real good, he'll do it before the close of business Friday. 